So one of the things that you mentioned to me that it was instrumental for you um, is being resourceful. I mean, when you're first starting as an entrepreneur, you have nothing. <laughs> unless you're unless you're Kylie Jenner um, or you're very very <laughs> you have um, nothing like resources your time money um, headcount it doesn't exist um, you have to get really creative crafty resourceful of what you are gonna spend the little bit of money you have on and what you're gonna spend your time on because I consider time my most valuable resource. I didn't even care that I didn't have a budget to do anything because I was like, no, 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 I'll find a way to do this organically um, with no money, but I just have to be smart about my time. Amanda Tyler is the founder of Wolfco, a community platform and academy for creative entrepreneurs to learn how to build and market their brands through digital marketing and social media. They offer courses, workshops, and coaching all taught, led, and created by fellow entrepreneur, creators, and experts. Time to find out more on the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show with your host, Sandy V. Terry. The whole fitness thing just wasn't really aligning with me and my purpose. I just felt like something was missing. Um, so I ended up kiboshing the whole thing. Okay. Uh, so so that's how long after you had started with the fitness idea did you completely said, no, this is not it. I'm not feeling it. I started the fitness thing. I was doing it probably for like 10 months. Okay. But when I built the platform, I built that in like three weeks. Okay. And it was probably two months after that, that I was like, this is just not going to work. Yeah. Like, I had those feelings, even as I was like building it, it felt like still forced and something just was missing. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't fulfilling me. It didn't like bring me joy mm -hmm. as much as like, I think other things like I'm doing now do. Right. right. Um, so I just decided I'm going to kibosh this. I need to redirect. I'm not going to change the goal. I'm just going to change the plan here. Um, so my goal was always to have my own business, but the mm -hmm. plan just now needed to change. Different. Yeah. Um, so I did a little bit of, I guess, soul searching. I know it sounds cliche and to say it sounds cliche, sounds cliche, but, uh, I did some soul searching <laughs> and I was just really thinking about, um, like my why, uh, you posted about the why the other day and it mm -hmm. really comes down to that. I had to relive the getting asked to leave from that company because I knew that there was stuff from that experience I needed to take and bring to Wolf Co. <laughs> um, and that's exactly what I did. Um, I, when I was working for that company, when it was bad, the bad times, it, there was so much feeling of like not being empowered or being listened to and sitting at a table of all men and just being completely ignored. And it's like, wait a second, I'm the one that has the most experience in this room. So why are you not listening to me? <laughs> um, so I, I knew I needed to include elements of empowerment in Wolf Co. And I wanted to create that sense of community and teamwork because that from the corporate world, I think is one of the best things about it is the teamwork and coming together, collaborating on these amazing, amazing projects and ventures. Mm -hmm. um, so working with these instructors now in Wolfco, and I'll get into what Wolfco is now, um, is such a blessing. And it brings me so much joy to come together and work on these amazing projects and courses mm -hmm. and workshops and to see their life's work come to fruition, but mm -hmm. in a collaborative way. So, but right there and then, the way that you just summarized your why is, is just, I mean, the way that it just came across, the way that you portrayed that, it was just so beautiful and profound, right? That um, 
you know, at that very moment, you didn't see it. At that very moment, you didn't even know it. And at the end of the day, you came out stronger. And you came out with a very clear, profound message, knowing very well what you needed to do, which is now what Wolf Co. is. You know, the way that you just said it is just like, boom, this is my mission. This is what I'm doing. This is my why. It feels like that now too. It's, I, I absolutely love doing all of this. Um, and working with these entrepreneurs, I see, I see so much of like the old me and like the, the struggle of like, okay, but we're supposed to go and get a nine to five job and support a family. And, and, you know, the female entrepreneurs that I work with are like, we're supposed to have kids and get married and and do all these things. But then they've got this like burning passion for this business and to have an impact. And it's so special. So one of the things that you mentioned to me that it was instrumental for you um, is being resourceful. I mean, when you're first starting as an entrepreneur, you have nothing. (laughs) Unless you're, unless you're Kylie Jenner, um, or you're very, very, (laughs) you have, um, nothing like resources, your time, money, um, headcount. It doesn't exist. Um, so you have to get really creative, crafty, resourceful, of what you are going to spend the little bit of money you have on and what you're going to spend your time on. Because Mm -hmm. I consider time my most valuable resource. I didn't even care that I didn't have a budget to do anything because I was like, no, 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 I'll find a way to do this organically um, with no money, but I just have to be smart about my time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Do you have any particular hacks on how you can give advice for the people to better manage their time? Because that is a real struggle. Like most people are like, you know, there is so much noise between the phone and the emails and social media and the dog. (laughs) It's It's like, you know, a squirrel. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Right. Um, I am like, uh, I'm obsessed with time blocking. It's my yeah. like ultimate, ultimate thing. Um, and I've calmed down a little bit on it. Like I used to like every single hour of the day was like, boom, 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 boom. Okay. I think that's just like the German in me. I can't help it. <laughs> just, just, like Very so structured with things. Yeah. Um, but I've started now every single night before bed, I have a bedtime routine and a morning routine. I think the bedtime routine is just as important. And I'll write out my like top three priorities that I absolutely have to get done the next day. Within those three priorities, of course, there's a couple other tasks that fall into place. Um, So I set that aside, go to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, I review it. So it kind of takes away that anxiety that I think most people have when they look at this massive to-do list of how am I going to get these 55 to 100 things done? Um, I set like a 15 minute timer a day and I'm just dedicated to that task. So that is kind of a a form of content batching. So um, along with my time blocking with those three tasks a day. Mm-hmm. I like to do content batching. So this is when you're like zeroed in on one very specific task mm-hmm. for a specific amount of time. So in that 15 minutes, nothing else. I'm doing nothing else, but like straight up engagement. I love those productivity hacks. It's like, oh my God, it's like so important nowadays, just so you're able to get stuff done. It's- Probably the most important thing as an entrepreneur, no matter what stage you're in, yep. outside of being productive and like managing your resources, right. is forming these relationships. And you're going to have so many different kinds too mm-hmm. in this journey. You'll have and meet other entrepreneurs who become your entrepreneur friends and you just straight up talk entrepreneur every time you're with them. You'll also meet mentors and people that are going to sponsor you and invest in your idea and invest in you and just help you and push you along. 
You may even have a coach that you work with in the journey. And then your network of people as well. And those are that are in your community that you're actually helping. Mm -hmm. So fostering these relationships just helps you um, not only stay sane in the craziness of entrepreneurship, but it really helps your business grow. Because when you think about it, and even if you think about it in Instagram terms, I have, I don't know how many, whatever amount of followers on Instagram, like 60, 6,200, I think maybe. Mm -hmm. So I've connected with you. You have 2,500 followers. We're sharing each other's content. Now Mm -hmm. that content is getting however much reach. What is that? 9,000. People right. now have the potential it's a spider to web content. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, that's not nine thousand. My math's bad. Yeah. I'm not good at math. Um, <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> just under. It's just under nine thousand. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's like your network can just expand. Multiply. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So that's why like keeping these relationships is so yeah. important, but also knowing which relationships to cut too that that aren't serving you purpose, right? Like, yeah, you can have all these people around you and it could seem like it's a good thing, but it can actually be hurting you. So Mm -hmm. understanding that side of the relationships is very important as an entrepreneur Uh, because it could be a time suck um, and an energy suck more than anything. Well, so we are getting here towards the end of the interview. (laughs) Sad. I don't want to leave because I I know that you are about to be uh, launching your podcast and I do want to talk about that. So why don't you tell us the name of the podcast, when it's going to be launching and what is it going to be about? Oh, this is like such a fun project. Uh, before it's going to be your baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While Wolf Co. is my baby for entrepreneurship and helping the entrepreneur community, the podcast, which is called Barely Functioning Podcast, is more so about like life and mm-hmm. like just the journey of life, all the obstacles, all the opportunities random stories that I'm sure everybody has and has gone mm-hmm. through. Is and it just life or the entrepreneurial life? It's like all life. All, all life. life. Yeah. It's more of like a deeper look. Um, it's We're co-hosts, but um, from the wolf perspective, it's more of a deeper look at um, the stories that led me to where I am today. Um, and same on her end too. Okay. Uh, crazy, crazy stories. It's very, it's going to be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, yeah it's going to be very funny and uh, it's incredibly relatable. We're both in our 30s and, um, you know, we're both women and there's just a lot that goes on in life and expectations and pressure and mm-hmm. crazy stuff that happens um, that traditionally isn't supposed to happen or is supposed to happen that we want to unpack and talk about and connect with our community on. So it's a very um, casual kind of podcast, very different from Wolf Co., but I'm really excited about it. It launches October 31st. Christina and I have already started to post some teasers (laughs) and uh, it's called Barely Functioning and you'll be able to find it wherever podcasts are found these days. (laughs) <laughs> barely functioning October 31st I mean you guys cannot miss it this I mean with these personalities you cannot miss it and coming out on Halloween day so I cannot wait to to listen to this you think my personality is crazy like she is a wild one so here's my last question the one that I end all my podcasts with okay you had a room <laughs> full of entrepreneurs what piece of advice would you give to them? There is no reward without risk. No reward without risk. Yes. My dad told me that one and I will pass it on to everybody else. You have to risk something to get the good golden egg. <laughs> Woohoo! <Yeah. laughs> so true. Yeah. Thank yeah, no. You. 
It was a good one. <laughs> Thank you. One. Yes. Thank you so much. Where can people find you? They can find me at the wolf with an E dot co and it links to everything else, all my other channels, the Academy, everything. Perfect. Thank you so very much for taking time from your so busy schedule. This woman not only has the Wolf Company, she's got um, the podcast coming up. She's getting married. She was trying dresses just now. I don't even know how she does it. But thank you so much for taking time from your busy schedule to talk to me today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Now we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.